and I'm back in Jeff's shed as you can see. Nice and warm in here Am for I? change. It's not bad actually. And is it? you've been busy polishing. Well, I've only just whizzed around them mobs. Yes. They, they, there's still a bit of soap on them, so by the time you built the wheel and that, you've got to. Are these the hubs for the. They're, they're going on this. Drag bike. Uh, the one we saw you working on. Well, this is. A while ago. Well, is that. There you go. That's what we saw you working on a while ago, a few days ago. I've milled. I've. Done. There's still a bit of, I think yeah, it, yeah. Well, so they were at an angle, weren't they? They were at an angle yeah. and you're lifting them down a wee bit. What I'd like to do with this is paint it. Yes. So you've got the polished rims yeah. and the polished hubs, but yeah. that yeah. painted like a bronze, you know, like yeah, maybe yeah. a bronze. Yeah. Do you know what color? I do with that? I mean, you won't do it, but what? I think it looked better. And if I don't. It. No, if it were me, you know, say no to this, but I, what I would have done was polish it. At, no, 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 no. I would <laughs> take the whole <laughs> spoke down to what you've done there on both sides. And then curve it in there and curve it in there so it's flat the whole distance but a bit thinner so rather than being just a hollow it's just flat and it curves in and curves out oh Ooh. I, no what, you what, what i'm trying to do i know because yeah. the bike now is sort of where you it's 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 old technology it certainly is it's it was old when you started it 10 years ago yeah but the thing is <laughs> yeah. what Instead of trying to make, and um, this looks like, that looks Dymag. Yes. Where Dymag's are like 70s, 80s. Oh, yes, yeah, it, it, yeah. It's got like a Dymag touch looks to it, so, which is well, what I was trying Dimags to. Dymag's have a wider base, don't they? They sort of. do, but, it, it, I mean, from a distance, it looks right, okay. like a Dymag. That, okay. that was what I was trying to. Okay, okay. So they're going to be polished. Yeah. So you polish them. Well. But have you now, are you going to polish these as well? or? I, what I wanted to, that, that could be rubbed with, say, some 400s. Yeah. I mean, polishing the outer bit's easy, but polishing that central bit now. What I'll do is I'll mask it. Yeah. There's, still, there's still sealer on it. There. Yes. That's all yeah. got to come off. Yeah. What I was thinking of doing is masking it yes. up, uh, bolt the hubs on, yeah. uh, and then mask the hubs, because if you put paint on oh, them. Oh, you don't want to be doing that, no, no, no. It, no. It's, paint acts like a lubricant to yeah. the grease effect. It's because it's never going to see rain, no, so no, it's no. not going to worry it. No. So, and then mask the hubs up, yeah. and then. A little bit of etch primer, yeah, um, and then maybe I've got some of that gold. gold that I did them other wheel to. Well, gold, it's just like an office. Yeah, I mean, if we look down here now, let me just yeah. spin round. Da -da 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 -da. We've done a couple of wheels here. We can see them, and they're both gold, so you could paint it that colour. That's what I'm saying. I've got some yep. of that. I've got yep. plenty got, of that. Yeah, you got plenty of that paint. So that's the going to be. <laughs> that's that's not going to cost any money. No, no, everything's going to be gold. <laughs> gold finger. Right. Okay. Right, so we're going back to one of your, <laughs> your jobs, which is those fatter yolks rather than my yolks. I'm yeah. being confused there. So let's just put them in the place of that one, and we can see just what you're up to. Well, yeah, because I've had to just get some marks on there. Yeah. Uh, so these are the fat yolks you made yeah. last week, but one, and you got some marking, and you, you drilled them for the risers. Yeah, these. And there they are with holes in. Uh, so did you have them before? I've just made them. Th these are originally off the other front end. Oh right, okay. So but I've had to uh, to keep the centres at maximum. Yeah. I've had to work it out to make sure you don't hit the bolt holes for the right, clamps, yeah, and yeah. I've actually just come in a little bit. You can see clearance, where you've, um, you know. So yeah, yeah, you've I'm going to change. I've got some stainless ones there, and they were just in for setting up. Right. Okay. So, so let's see how it looks then when you put the risers in place. So let's basically, they'll be at 43 degrees. The yolks. Yes. So they're going to be something. So they're going to be pulled back on, almost yeah, obviously, flat. Yeah. yeah, almost flat. So and the forks for them are the ones we uh, saw you're there. working on. Yeah. Now one thing actually I forgot to mention last time I was here is you've now actually welded the ends. Of the, you've done. actually extended them. Yeah, I didn't yeah. mention it last time. So we saw them last time, but I didn't mention that what you'd done to it. We talked about well, doing it, but you hadn't done it yet. Yeah. So now you've welded this piece on, which is from another set of yokes. These are off. What it was is I had a set of stanchions that yes. were all pitted yeah. so I've cut the ends off I know a lot of people don't like these sort of things but they're actually I've machined there's inch and a half there's a three inch strip inside uh, piece of tube yes. that's been machined pressed together and then that's been yeah, that's going nowhere, th then I, I had a length of studying in to yes. hold it yes yes and then just tig them round so that new as well is that something you've added? Uh, the only thing is, is because the slugs there, I've had to lengthen the damper rods. Right. So I, I had the old damper rods, so I've cut okay. them. Okay. And, and so the you, were, you were polishing some some fort lowers outside in the cold. Yeah, they're out so there. So I take it that's the Yeah, very, very cold, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and, you, uh, and they're from a, they look like from a Z. They're off a ZZR 600. Right, okay, <clears> okay, great. But actually, these stanchions out of one of the models, these are thicker walled. Right, okay. Than 
the other ones right so which is a bit heavier but bit heavier but stronger. stiffer yeah, yeah and the thing is when you've got the weight of this yeah. i thought that's that's what probably a better okay thing we've got the stem done okay Shall I, do you want to hear about my clanger Go on, let's see about your clanger <laughs> well when, when i took the yoke out yes to fit it uh i look at it i thought oh right we only need another quarter of a mil so yeah. i moved it quarter of a mil what did Wally do? And that gives you half. It, it gives you half yeah, a mil. Yeah. And then I suddenly thought, Oh no, absolutely. Nightmare. So what I've had to do yeah, is make a is thicker. make a steel sleeve. Yeah, oh it's on there now, yeah. That's been pressed on and then yeah. I've had to put it in the between centres. And yeah. But then this couldn't couldn't get it in the lathe. So I had to go and see Lister and he put me a little oh, centre. Right, because it's so thick. Yeah. So I could grip that then and dial it, yeah. put it in the centre there and then just machine that. Now right. so that now will slide that. Okay. Well it's just tap. So if you bring that over thin. here now then, if you bring that bottom yoke over here, yeah. and put it on the floor, put it on the workbench oh, there. Yeah. Uh, oh. Put it all together and we can see how it looks. Huh? Now you've marked you, you've oh. got some um, blue ink on that oh. there, lad, so what's that for? Blue that? Yes, what's that for? This is something you're probably not going to like. I won't know. I know I won't. Because that now, because I've gone into there yes. and took it in there. Yes. What I was going to do is put a ball groove oh, no. down oh, there. You're into your bloody Only, bloody. only to get some of the weight out of it. How heavy is that? It, yeah. It's not too bad, Yeah, is it? but that's why I've done that. All right. And all right. people say, was it worth it? Was it worth it? Was it worth it? Oh, I have a little bit. And helped. then suddenly you think, there's two bags of spuds that I'd have on yeah. the bike. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. So well, I, I know people say, okay. where do you draw okay. the line? Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, put that in there and uh, let's see it all assembled. Don't so I was. Let's just um, put it together and well, so our viewer can tell what it looks like. So if I, yeah, so all I can thing. do is just rest it like that because yeah, yeah, it's yeah. got to be sort of pressed in. Pressed yeah. in. Yeah, I don't need to ruin it. Uh, okay, so. so. Uh, no, that won't. That, that, obviously, we've got that on. And yeah. then we've got that. Yeah. I've sunk that in and I've actually skimmed the top nut now, so it's nice and there. Uh, so, yeah, can you we see that? Yeah, well, you got to spin it around for me, Jeff. I can't All see right. it. Oop. Yeah, so you've now machined a recess in that top yoke. Yeah. And so the top nut is And that now recessed. fits that top nut. Yeah. It was a chrome dome one, but someone had hit it, so I've machined it off. Right. Just the only it. thing is, because you've broke through the chrome, yeah, you might bit. just. I mean, but it's not going no. out in the rain, no, so. No, no, no. A bit of W foot and that would be fine. It's not going to worry it, no. which it looks quite. High tech. Yeah. Lighter, well, of course, lighter. So. Okay, so now stand it up for me and we can see it uh, all. Well, basically, that's. We're going to be sort of like. Yeah, that, speak round, because I can't angle. see it. Uh, that way. There we go, yeah. yeah. Got to have the. Front facing me, lad. Yeah. Yeah, so that's going to be that's going to be at an angle of at 42 degrees, you said? A 40. Uh, 42, 43. Well, and that means. 43. That, okay. Is and that means that that riser, as it comes back, it it's almost going to be flat, isn't it? It's it's, be, it'll be vert. Horizontal almost. Well, I've actually machined it at 45, so it will actually kick up a couple oh, yeah, of degrees, yeah. so it's okay. not going to be uh, okay, great stuff. Uh, a problem. So, with that done, then, what's next? Your, I've got to do your stuff. Oh, no, no, not my stuff, your stuff. This is your oh, vlog. This is your vlog. We'll cover uh, my stuff in a minute for the Z. Well, basically, I just wanted to get. Oh, you bugger. Oh, it's a bit tight. Uh, there you go. Oh, yeah, it's it's done. I think if I just warm that up, yeah, once that's warm, yeah. it'll just drop yeah, in. Yeah, you warm that up by the fire. Yeah. Drop in if that's it. warmed up, it, it'll fine. drop in that's and that's just right. Okay, great stuff. But, so we've put your stuff away. Is there anything else you look uh, to on your stuff? Up to on, now. On your gear? Up to now, that's... That's it. That's it. And, and okay. Okay, Jeff, so I see you've been polishing those fork bottoms. You've now rebuilt the, uh, the, the, the forks that you got. Uh -huh. You said they're from a... The, these are presented at uh, 600. You got, you, you got them off eBay, did you? Not these. Oh, not these. No, the, 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 these, the, these are the ones that were originally on the comp bike that right. were shortened, but now... I've okay, and you give me a quick flirt the, uh, on the polishing. Yeah. Mop. They're not cleaned up yet, they're still uh, a little bit dirty. This, I did most of the work and the cleaning up yeah. whilst they were stripped down, yeah. but now there's just a few little... Marks. While you're setting up something, you don't want to be absolutely getting everything spot on until it's ready to, yeah. to build. Otherwise, so, it, yeah. But, the, you know, 80-90% of the uh, work's done. Okay. So they, ju they just want some finishing off. Okay, and then um, there'll be the forks for the comp bike, which is this thing here well, behind we, me. Yeah, even the modified, ev everything. Oh, and I've actually spring, the, well, I don't want to put it on the floor. No. I'll rest it on my foot there. Yeah. And it's very stiff now, oh, is very stiff. Yeah, they... But they have but, to be because the bike's a bloody big. Well, if you don't, it? that thing's a bit of a monster. Okay, so now looking at the comp bike, a bit more detail. We saw these risers and these yokes last week. 
before you polish them. So you polish these now. And you've also added your... I'll put the two all grooves in there. All grooves, which I wish I hadn't done. But I know why you've done it, but... It's got rid of some, some weight, weight yes. and it's not about... Well, it is about aesthetics now, yeah, but I'm yeah. trying... You're trying you to save weight. Well, I've done that. Yeah. So if we now look underneath that yoke, if you move that away, Jeff, I'll just uh, try and show folks what's going on beneath it. If we just come round, we can see you've got... Yeah, uh, this is see. the Honda's in the way. Yes, yeah, okay. You've got that machined out beneath both okay. the top yoke and the bottom yoke. Sort of lose weight, so they're now ready to rock. And you can see also how... Um, it's got such a lot of rake on this thing. You've got what, 42 you, degrees there no, by the time. I was amazed at the time. Now I've set this degree angle upon yeah, it. It's yeah. 45 degrees. Oh, right, 45. And this is, it's too much. Too much, yeah, you've got to go pack it 42, a little bit. 42, 43 yep, degrees yep, is about right. Is, is 42 Better. and a half, I yep, would say, yep, is, yep. Is, is very much what, you know, is the okay. ideal. So okay. unfortunately, what I have to do is take these two. Where I've tacked them on there, oh, we'll take them they're out. going to have to come off. I'm going to have to rejiggle it, yeah. set it up, and possibly it may have to be warmed a little bit on the it's tubes to get bit. the angles back yeah. in. Okay, well, you live and learn, you live and learn. Uh, At least you know that now rather than later. That's the main thing. This, 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 there's a couple of things that we've got to sort out on this, but. Okay, well, just a couple, uh, yeah. You know. Yeah, it's been here quite a long time. But anyway, we'll move on now and we'll look at something else. Okay, Jeff, we're back in your workshop again. It's now been about three or four days since last Tuesday, when I was last here, it's now Saturday. And I see you've got one of the forks that you're working on last week in the comp bike. So what's going on with that? You just I just want to set the front end up so I can get the frame finished. Oh, nice. yeah. uh, obviously, I've just put that wheel in for now. The other one's sat down there that I've, yep. well, got to put together. Right. Uh, but it doesn't really matter. I, what wheels in it as long as I can see. So it's is that angle now correct for what you want? It's no, it's all I did was is just, oh, just, just sat sitting. there. Right, because obviously that, way. that's miles yeah. out, isn't it? From well, there. that where it sat, if you look at it, is 98 inch wheelbase. Right. It's probably a bit too much for what you're doing. Yeah. Uh, and so back here. That but that's because you've got a 45 degree brake on it, which is wrong. It, it is, but obviously. Uh, Back sat there two inches. That's down. That'll probably be down to about ninety six. Mm -hmm. We could probably even go back to there to yeah. ninety four. I yeah. mean, it, it's going to be more than enough. Yeah. And you're using a pretty standard wheel there that you've polished up. That's a ZX. Oh, Z, ZXR six hundred. Yeah, but that's not the one you're going to be using. No, no, we've got no, the no, billet no, no. one. I want to put. No, in. we're going to put the billet one. So let's now look at the billet one, which is over there, sort of halfway finished. I thought you'd done this. I'll do it again. All right. Okay, so here we have that wheel we saw last week. Um, it was in bits. It's still sort of in bits. You've now I bolted the hub on. Yeah, that's that, what we've got our spare. That's what we polished up yeah. last time round. You are going to paint this bit, yeah. I'd like now to mask the hubs up. Yeah. You take them off. Yeah. Mask the face off there. Yeah. Well, get all that Good original job. sealer off it yes. and clean it. Yeah. And I'd like to spray this like that bronzy gold. Yes. Dark, dark gold or yeah. bronze. Well, the whole thing. Yeah. Okay. But I'll have to get a little bit of etching primer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, you could probably just brush a little bit of that on if it. Or I've if, got some at home if you want. Have I've you got, got some, what in a spray? Yeah, yeah. Ah. Got some etching primer. Yeah. So that's okay. So you put that back on there. So. And we can pretend it's all together. And then you've got your disc that you've had for ages that you're now going to use at last. Well, these originally come out on here. Uh, to off a matrix, here. yeah. The, the, and what I've done is I've altered the hub. The, we can't see it at the minute, but I've elongated the two, two of the holes. I've had to elongate. To switch to turn it a little bit. So I can turn the hub because my idiosyncrasy of... You want to get these lined up. I wanted that now when it's on. It's, it's it, yeah. When you look at it, it like matches. That. Yeah, so if I now go like that... Shall I, shall I you, oh, there you go, yeah. That's easier. Yeah, so um, it, it now all lines it, up. It, it flows in. Yeah, it looks very nice. Whereas before, it was about there like <laughs> that. Three or four degrees out. Yeah. And it looked, I Wrong. couldn't, I, I was sat here looking at oh, it no. thinking, I can't live with that. I can't live it's with gotta that. Be, it's got to be, gotta be sorted yeah. out. Okay. That's one of my little idiosyncrasies. No, okay. If it doesn't look right, right it's not I right. can't, it's... No, no, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Okay, so that's your so, wheel sorted out, and probably yeah. like a week or two we'll come back. Well, we need nice some to... time to get yeah. to... As I say, I'll have to bring you some um, etching primer. I've got well, some. Well, I've got the gold paint, but it's the temperature we yeah, have to do. It's, it's too, too cold. It's cold. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, with that then, let's have a look and see what else has been going on. Uh, 
Okay, Jeff, so we've we now come round. You've moved your Honda drag bike from where it was uh -huh. to the space for my Z project. You put it yeah. on here. Uh -huh. And really, oh. your, your big problem now is being able to afford to get something to weld up all this really nice aluminium you've been uh, working with. And we've just been talking about it, and you just don't want it welding up like that, a nice sharp corner. No, 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 no. What you want is it curving over. Uh, I so want to nice try and put like a. Yeah, which means well, that's got like so so it's got more of a curve like that yes. rather than a, a hard edge, a really sharp edge. Yeah, uh, you can't really see that one there when yes, it's all bent. It, it's got some. I, I like things. Curve, that, yeah, it sometimes and sharp the problem edges. Is, you just weld it like that. You're going to get a sharp edge. Yeah, you don't want. So so what you need to do is bend either this one or this one, and give it a slight bend right on the yeah, edge. Yeah, maybe just bend it over. Yes. Uh, so it's got about like say 45 yes. each one yeah and then you're actually welding it halfway on the curve yes. and then and you can, can smooth it down you can file it and yes. polish so it in we've been looking around and we're talking about how on earth you could do that and we found a piece from your metal brake, the folder yeah the folder this big heavy piece here <laughs> and it's works sort of at that edge and that edge but if you spin it round guess what you've got a nice mm -hmm. bend there a nice curve that was milled on. That was milled on. It's got to be bloody strong and heavy because otherwise it will bend. <laughs> so if you imagine this is placed on a firm surface, you then take this thing, hold it just on its edge and just gently hammer it down, very gently, back and two, back and two, back and two. Hopefully you can bend that round. I'm not sure how he's going to be uh, that bit there where you've bent it. You, you could probably get mo like, you could, I could, well it wants welding up to about there, but I'll still put a bit of a curve up to there. Yes, yeah. Um, yeah. And I wanted to put a bit of a curve. So let's put that away over there. Out no. of hand's way. Yes, yeah, so that's currently the, the sort of sticking point, if you like, because you want this right. Mm -hmm. um, and also the cost of doing it. I mean, we're going to get Jeff to weld to do it because he's really I good. I think it. And he ain't cheap. The weld. It, it's a lot of welding. It's getting it all jigged up in this. Yes. It's actually it's setting time. it up. The and not just the seat, it it but also the tank as well. Yeah. Which is down here. So. The tank needs to be welded up. Well, that was folded actually on that. Yes, that's right. The yeah, curve, yeah. yeah. I'm be doing it. So it's also got to be cut a little bit more. Yet you've actually marked it where you want to cut it. We've got to cut it, trim it there. Yeah. So it's got a bit of a curve. And then so when you make it back piece, yeah, through, yeah. It, it, and you've also got to add your filler cap. Yeah. I did think you should have it on top, but now we've realised the reason why I did it on the side is so that you can get the it, damn. What tank actually is, is if you don't get it right, if it's too low, if it's if it's too low, you can't get it on. If it's too high. Uh, if it's too high, you, you're you running the wrist end that you, you can't, can't get the tank off. Get it in. Yes, so in and out. It's, it's unfortunately it's not, it's not, as though you don't like it's it. Gonna, no, no, it's, it's going to go, go on the side. The side. Well, it's practical, it's practical then. Fair enough. <laughs> okay, yeah, so, so that's what's going on there. Yeah. And then... Uh, we've just got to put a, a, mat, a lug on it, on this brace yeah. here. And actually what I'm going to do is get some like piece of inch tube. Yeah. And bronze it on. And then I can make a couple of aluminium spacers to fit in it. A bit of rubber on to there. To pick up on, mm -hmm. with a small rubber yes. uh, mount, well. mount in it and then just it. mount the tank at the back. Okay, brilliant. So basically you'll have one mounting bolt there and it will push in the headstock on rubber. Yes. So it's easy in and out. It, easy, yeah. Okay. Okay. One bolt. And then if you turn round we see the sad side of another frame, which has been outside for a while as you can see. And this is what I call a spares bike. And we've done a very long series of videos about this bike. Spares bike. I got a spares bike and it then got sort of disassembled and put away because there's no money and no time and no space to sort of complete it sadly. So I see you've had a quick go at rubbing down the... It doesn't sound metal. Long, really. No, no, no. It, it, but the problem is, you see, if we look around now, you've got my bike there, an engine, you've got the main, what I call a comp bike, this bike will probably never ever get finished, but we'll try. And then we've got this one here. Oh, I'm very trying. Yeah, very trying. Been told. <laughs> yeah, and then and then, not only that, you've got your your Unitrack bike, which I don't know where that's gone. It's up there. It's up there. It's up there it's in, up, in, yeah. in bits. And probably, what that is about it now? What that is is a Kawasaki. What frame was that when it started off? It's a Unitrack. Unitrack. It's. But you've modified it to some. No, because you did your own back end. It was originally monoshock, but oh, right. the, the, the original monoshocks are like, well, Crap. Let, let's say they've improved. Okay, so you chopped did, all that off that. and you made your own monoshock using yeah. a ZRX, was it? ZXR? It's got a ZXR 750 50. swinging arm in, and but hopefully 
Yes. I'm going to change that and use them billet things. Oh, yes. And, that, and change the swinging arm, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, because over there, way over there, we've got the billet end pieces that you made some time mm -hmm. ago. I've actually got a ZXR swing arm that was going to be used on my project, but I changed my mind in the end and we went for a, the um, the standard ZRX back end. So that's now going for spare, so you can have that. And hopefully you'll use it on the Unitrack at some point. Unitrack, yeah. And what engine, what, gonna have, to what engine is it going to have? What engine is it going to have? Well, it, it's got Not the Unitrack cases. Oh, you've well, still got that. Actually, you've got the barrel. Oh, right. <laughs> okay. Because up there oh, is because that up big there. block. Oh, we got a big block. In fact, there's two big blocks. Big up blocks. There. So they're non-standard barrels. Uh, I'm not what, sure. That so is, what casing is that? What what casting is this? Is it an MTC or something? That uh, I think that's an MTC. That yeah, one. Yeah. Uh, that one actually is a is a rod pullant of what, what he had made right. and you can actually the beauty is, beauty is with that one you can reverse the head with it because it's got an extra bit of casting on the back right. okay and that is what i wanted to use on that thing that thing the, the thing, thing that i said don't the build the project it. with a reversed head yeah, chopper thing which yeah. is a bad idea because no one's going to buy it so don't actually, do it. actually our I lessons mean, had a call off a guy saying that's brilliant all right he's got uh, he, he wants one i don't know he just said <laughs> well, we'll wow wow so well, you never know if so. If somebody's but, out there who has but, seen this and wants a reverse you head know, I mean, chopper or a reverse head anything, then there there's a barrel out there yeah. to do so. so. There are crazy people out there. Yeah, like not me. just you. Yeah, not, not just, just you. me. You're not alone, Jeff. No. You're not alone. No, not alone. I'm glad. I'm glad. Yes, you're not you alone. Know, okay. I've not been left on this planet on yeah. my own. Okay. Actually, there is one more thing, actually. Um, but that's pretty boring, so we won't cover that just, just now. Um, so, yeah. What? Things are pretty busy at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, I've not started digging the cellar yet. Oh no 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 yeah down here is actually a a big old for more room yeah for more room and what's it full of Jeff what's down there that's a pit oh it's got it's all pit. sorts in it it's um, full of wheels, wheels tires yeah and God knows what else yeah, is up there I'm, in fact, I'm amazed that yeah. this roof hasn't collapsed yet because it's uh, there's so much stuff up, up I'm there. I'm surprised it hasn't collapsed. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> so with that then, I think we'll call it quits, and we'll come back next week and see how things have progressed. Right. So uh, thanks for watching. Thank and you cheers. very much.